Who's in the kitchen with Eileen? Who's in the kitchen with Eileen? Who's in the kitchen with Eileen? It's fun to Who's in the kitchen with Eileen? Who's in the kitchen with Eileen? Who's in the kitchen with Eileen? It's Fun Food for Kids with Ms. Eileen. Hey. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Fun Food for Kids with Ms. Eileen. Woo! At Taylor Nortel's Library. I have Miss Rebecca behind the camera as the camera woman. Miss Ng behind me with the tambourine. She's our sound system and our director. And today, you're going to have a watermelon snack. Now, this is not a any, watermelon snack. Not any normal watermelon snack. You are going to make watermelon cupcakes. Woo! Okay. So, and I have a couple of different variations. There's one that had the green cupcake and then the pink on top. This one is a red or pinkish cupcake with the chocolate chips inside with a green ice. And then this one is your cupcake that has the center of it is the pink with the chocolate chips on, so the watermelon, and a circle of green icing around it. And if you're doing it for a special occasion, you can do a variation of having several green ice cupcakes and the center of it being the pink ice cupcakes with the chips, the mini chocolate chips in it. So for today, what you needed to do is you needed to use either, I like to use the icing gels so it's more concentrated or your green food coloring. And whenever I made the cupcakes, I mixed my batter and using a toothpick, I just put the green in it and blended it to make um, what color I wanted, okay? So that's how you would make your green cupcake. For the pink icing that I have here today, I just used the pink and mixed it in with my, my can icing. So today you're going to need your green cupcake, pink frosting, um, you need a knife and you need your mini chocolate chips. Okay, so we're going to take the green cupcake. Now, instead of doing the swirl like I have here, oh, and let me talk about that. What I used is I have a cake decorating bag. This is a plastic disposable bag that I put tip 1M in. Okay, um, I just cut the bottom of it to insert the tip so the tip is exposed. Um, you can use a tip 21 as the same star tip. It will just be a little bit smaller than this one. So, but for you guys, since I'm sure you might not have that, I'm going to ice my cake with a knife. So I'm going to take a little bit of the pink icing and place that on. And just smooth that around. If you really, really like the icing, you might want to add a little extra and see if you can recreate that little bit of a mound for the cupcake. And then once you have your cupcake ice, you can add your mini chocolate chips to it. there and there oh! you, go. you have your watermelon cupcake what a charmer okay isn't that cute it's darling fun food for kids with miss eileen is brought to you by saturday storytime saturdays at 10 30 a.m and by dance party thursdays at 10 15 and by viewers like you Now, while you enjoy your cupcake, I'm going to read you, this is one of my all-time favorite picture books, The Watermelon Seed by Greg Pizzoli. I love watermelon. Chomp, chomp, chomp. It's the best. Ever since I was a teeny tiny baby crocodile, it's been my favorite. 
chomp, slurp, chomp. I like it for breakfast. I like it for lunch. I like a big salty slab for dinner. And I love it for dessert. I love watermelon. Go. What do you suppose happened? I just swallowed a seed. I swallowed a seed. It's growing in my guts. Soon vines will come out my ears. My stomach will stretch. My skin will turn pink. I don't want to be in a fruit salad. Somebody please help me. Grumble, grumble, grumble. Oh, oh no. I can feel it growing inside me. It's happening right now. My, my stomach feels funny. <gasps> Let's see. Oh, here's the seed. That was too close. No more watermelon for me. Never again. Well, maybe just a teeny tiny bite. Chomp, 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 chomp. Isn't that absolutely wonderful? Now, I do want to remind you that we'd like you to take a photo of yourself with a snack and send it into services at gmail.com that we can do a collage and post it on the social media page. And for next fun food for kids, what you will need is you will need two slices of whole wheat bread ham or bologna, whichever lunch meat you prefer, a slice of, one slice of white cheese, carrot sticks, and blueberries. I thank you very much for attending and I'll see you next time for Fun Food for Kids. This is Miss Eileen at Shaler North Hills Library. Who's in the kitchen with Eileen? Who's in the kitchen with Eileen?